In a recent interview, these two individuals were talking about the BLM mon money controversy. Now, we're going to draw attention to a couple of things here. First of all, I want you to pay attention to the books on her bookshelf. Secondly, I want you to pay attention to how many times she says, um, because usually that's a sign that you're either unprepared or that you're lying. And thirdly, the bottom line of her statement. Let's take a listen. I think it's hard. Um, I want to remind people that we just got this money six, eight months ago, yeah, um, not that long ago. And um, in that time, we've been able. Now look at this book right here on her bookshelf. Look at how people put stuff on their bookshelf to send a message. And these are all normally on a bookshelf. And, and it would be interesting to look at these in more detail what they are. But this one here is sent out differently for a reason. To distribute dollars really quickly. Um, and I do want to say that, you know, um, our community members do need resources. Our community members um, do need support. Um, Black Lives Matter, while we are a grant making body and an action um, act tank, think tank, um, we are not a charity. What is an action body and a think tank? Now, people gave to BLM on the auspice that it was a charity. If you go to Act Blue's website, I'm going to show you this here in a second. Now, right here, if you go to Act, look up Act Blue Express on the internet now, it says it is not registered as a charity with the IRS. Contrast that with my bookshelf. It's a little messy. Branch of that. Because here's the bottom line. People don't realize exactly what they tell you about themselves based on what they surround themselves with. I'll leave you with this poem for your thought and edification. You tell on yourself by the friends you seek, by the very manner in which you speak. You tell on your self by the clothes that you wear, by as simple a thing as how you wear your hair. You tell on yourself by the books on your shelf in these ways and more you tell on yourself. This woman has not only told us about herself with the way she's decorated the background here, and if we looked into greater detail at the books on the shelf or the things hanging on the wall, this is a corner. Nobody sits in a corner like this except for to have a background for a, a video conference during COVID when they're or when they're telecommuting from a home office. But nobody sits in a corner like this back, boxed in under normal circumstances. You would sit actually facing the wall over here to the right with the bookshelf at your left and have a desk against the wall. Nobody sits like this. And since we have now started sitting like this, we should pay attention to what they put back here, what they put up here, what they put here, and definitely what they put here. I don't know what everyone who's joined Black Lives Matter thinks and feels, but clearly their organizers are committing a fraud, are committing a scam. Pyramid schemes and multi-level marketing never admit that they're a scam. They always use some other words, like power building organization, to describe themselves. They never tell you what they are, at least not intentionally, but they've just told on themselves a lot. I'll leave it to you to decide what it actually means.